My reflections from facilitation course organized by Constance. As a risk manager, I happen to facilitate risk workshops on a monthly basis. Here are four things that I have implemented to improve my workshop experience. Number one, invite with links versus attachments. I've used to send meeting invites with a link to presentation. It was not a good solution, especially if it's a recurring meeting. There might be participants who might not be able to access link. Now I have removed the link and started to add practical information such as location and time. I suggest also adding the IDO app to the meeting invite as soon as possible, even if an update of it is needed later. This way all participants know what to expect prior to the meeting. How should I communicate that my participants will be expecting a preparatory mail prior to the monthly meetings or workshops? Mm -hmm. When removing the link from the meeting invite, I would suggest communicating to participants that another email regarding preparation will be sent out. This way the participants are aware that preparation prior to the workshop is expected from them. Number two, I send preparatory mails 10 days prior to the workshop. My preparatory mails include the following what to prepare for the workshop, what new participants need to be aware of. I suggest putting the description of the required preparation work up in the beginning of the email. This to make sure that it's easy for the participants to spot. I create and send a separate reminder mail to all relevant participants to be prepared for the workshop. I suggest keeping information about what to remember short and most of all, using the same thread to keep all related information in one correspondence. This way the participants do not have to look up old emails to find it. Number three, setting the scene. I explain why the workshop is relevant. Ground rules that participants should be aware of. Most importantly, outcomes of the meeting with a wrap up. So how did it work to set ground rules for the meeting? Did they have any effect? I start by establishing the ground rules, such as phones to be silent throughout the workshop. I started using parking lots to park topics or discussions that are not relevant to the theme of the meeting. In this way, I was eliminating unnecessary noise or discussions out of scope. When setting the scene, did you explain to the participants about your own role and how you would use your mandate? No, I did not foresee any challenges that I should handle. Okay. If relevant, you could consider to mention that your role will include the right to intervene and, for example, stop discussions not relevant for the meeting. Did you explain your expectations to the participants when setting the scene? Yes, I did. My expectations from the participants is to pay attention throughout the meeting. Did you remember to delegate and get help for making action lists, writing down conclusions? Or so. I had help from fellow colleagues as a co-facilitator in keeping track of time and note-taking during the meeting. In this way, I was able to have a more fruitful and focused facilitation. I'm curious to know if you succeeded to plan time for wrapping up before the meeting was over and how that worked? I started improving the way I take notes, keeping the end in mind, and I set aside five minutes prior so that I had enough time to summarize what happened conclusions and next steps. One of the best things that happened is when I received a feedback from our customer where they felt really happy for the time they spent on contributions and engagements during the entire meeting. Number four, engage the participants. I usually start with a classic icebreaker. For example, how was the weekend or about the weather or maybe commute to work. So did you plan a process for the workshop and did you explain it to the participants when setting the scene? Yes, I have gathered data from stakeholders of the project and categorized them into themes that could be used for brainstorming during the workshop. I wonder which tools or methods you involved in the workshop to generate and document output. I prefer having bow tie template to visually represent the process because it basically helps structure our findings.